What's up guys and gals, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015. Today we're on the public server, we are on uh, the map states version 11, and we are in a huge, enormous cotton field. Uh, this is field number eight, and uh, it's been planted in cotton, and some people have been whittling at it, and I thought I would jump on here and um, do a little cotton harvest myself. As I re come to realize, I haven't really shown you guys the cotton harvester that we're using. Uh, we used it in a live stream one night, but the live stream kind of went haywire, and I don't ever think I put it up. So, uh, yeah, so this is what we're using. Uh, we've got this John Deere. Uh, cotton picker. It is the 9965. This is version 2. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good model. Uh, whoever did it took the time to do a little research about uh, cotton harvesters uh, to get some of the mechanics right on it and to get a little bit of it pretty cool. So it's got some cool uh, little modding. It does have a couple of minor little clipping issues. See how this pipe goes into this uh, wheel here? And then if we come around to the other side, uh, you'll see the pipe does the same thing on this wheel here. Uh, that'll go away in a moment, but in the current state it is, which is um, compact and, um, and, 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 and folded in, uh, it's a little messed up. But there are your cutters that uh, bring the cotton in and pick it off of the stems. And again, it's not a bad model. It's it's pretty decent. I wish somebody had taken the time to actually do a nice cotton package with like a combine, a press, and then like a block transport. Uh, but I know that's a, a lot to ask. You know, it, it, even if they had had like a field side press that made uh, pallets, wool, like, you know, like cotton pallets, and then you could go sell the pallets at the pallet, uh, you know, factory. That would have been cool as well. Um, but at this point, uh, what we have is this, and um, it dumps out, and I'm using the, uh, the agro liner trailer here uh, to haul off the cotton because it's the most... Well, to me, it's the most realistic trailer there is to haul it off with because it does have the press head up here at the front uh, to clear it out. And I thought, well, that would be kind of cool for cotton. You certainly wouldn't want to haul cotton in like a grain cart because, well, cotton's thick and fluffy and it's fibers and it's not going to come out of it. You need something that's going to push it out. Uh, so you either need a, you know, a tipper or, or something. Um, you know, like I said, in the field, these would dump into a device somewhat like this, except it has a, a press on the top of it that actually goes in and presses it down and compacts it into a nice thick uh, block. Then it is kicked out the back onto the ground uh, out of the press. And then a truck comes and tilts up, tilt beds up, an arm comes out with uh, like a conveyor belt on it and it scoops that whole block up into it and then they transport it out of the field. Uh, we don't have all that equipment so we'll make do with what we have. So we just got a tractor trailer and uh, we'll harvest the com cotton with it. Uh, but it's still, it's kind of fun to have something like this and the way it works is pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and start it up for you guys. And I'll give you guys a look on the interior of it. The modeling of it, not terrible. There is one little issue with it. Uh, if I want to look left, I have to press right on my joystick or on my hat. And if I want to look to the right, I have to press left. And it's the same with up and down, where I normally would look up by pressing down. Uh, I have to look down. I have to press down. And it's just weird. Uh, the con basically, all the controls are completely opposite of the camera controls with any other vehicle. But... Um, so it takes a little getting used to. So if I'm doing first person and I'm turning to the left and I accidentally hit look to the right, uh, it's just because the camera controls are a little, little wonky here. Um, but anyways, other than that, it is a it's pretty nice little model. Uh, then it's like I said, it's in its compact state now. So we'll go ahead and unfold it. That's going to raise the cage up a little bit. That's also going to bring the blower bars up. And now, as you can see, we don't have that clipping anymore because the pipes are in 
their proper place. Um, you know, I guess if the suspension gave a little bit, they would rub on those. Uh, and then over on this side, everything's in place. Again, you, you got a li very little clearance there. But again, the modeler's done a pretty good job with it. And the tires in the back are right. Because uh, if you've ever seen one in the field, they got little bitty tires. The hubs don't connect to the wheels. But again, I'm, I'm not going to completely nitpick it. Because uh, it's not bad. Um, they did pretty good. It's got that heavy sheen to it that I don't like. Uh, that, you know, you don't have that really... See how you got a nice realistic look on the paint job on this and on this trailer has got that sort of flattened out look this is just too shiny for me but uh it's still not bad we can let it go all right so we're gonna get out here and we're gonna do a little cotton we're gonna back up and whoever was doing this was doing the length of the field i don't necessarily like that because uh it's easier for me working by myself uh, to go ahead and run up and down the field and uh, if I go across the field uh, four times it will fill this thing up and then I can uh, fill up the trailer with two complete loads of this thing so um, that's sort of what I got going on here alright so we'll bring it up now we'll say this I've messed around with the uh, the GPS on it to try and find the optimal settings for how to cut with it and really I found about 4.6 is the length that I want to go when I cut with it now I've already set this up I've run a couple of runs through here with it um, if you do the like the auto detect it's going to give you five meters but I end up missing a row uh, on the return trip down if I do that so the head is a little bit shifted um, it's it it cuts heavy on the right side Whereas the left side cuts really tight, and you'll see that. So if we're f facing down at it right now, the left side, this time up, the left side's going to cut trim uh, with the re left side GPS, but the right side's going to cut a little thick, and you'll see that uh, when we actually head up field. So we'll get going. We're going to turn her on. And um, it does have an actual cotton texture for it, which is kind of cool. Uh, so as we start, you're going to start to see a white blowout, and then the uh, the product that accumulates is white as well. So that's pretty good. So the textures on it are, aren't bad at all, uh, and the textures when you transfer the cotton from the uh, from the harvester. Um, into the trailer those are good as well it's uh the only thing you run into is when the trailers don't have the cotton texture i'm sure you could go in and add them somehow but since they don't have the cotton texture when you do go to uh sell off your load you're gonna get a uh you're gonna get a bit of a like a, a grain it's gonna look like barley or wheat uh when you dump it out but uh otherwise it has a pretty good it does pretty good And as you can see, the cutting head's not matching the rows. Um, and there's not much I can do about that. And that could be a little bit because I am going cross grain with it. Because the rows in the game are going, uh, right now, they're going east-west. Uh, whereas I'm cutting north-south on the field, so the rows aren't matching up. Not a huge deal for me. So you can see we had a nice flush cut coming up the field uh, left side was nice and snug against uh, the grain oops it's easy to uh, to flip around there all right so I'm going to uh, reapproach and cut this time and we should get a nice cut but as you see it's cutting fat on the right side so that's the reason why uh, when we come back up the field we'll be a little bit thin on the on the uh, the right side of the combine because it does have a tendency to sometimes cut fat um, but otherwise about 4.6 meters is the working width that I've found on this head to uh, 
to really not miss anything and to not have any real issues with it. So that's what I'm running. 4.6, no offset. Uh, it seems like maybe a little offset would help it, but 4.6 is what I'm running straight up. And it moves along at a pretty good clip. We're rolling 9, nine miles an hour on it. Not bad. And like I said, going across this field, the way the field's set up right now, uh, on field number 8, which I'll show you how huge that field is if you look at the mini-map. Uh, you can see field, out, field, field 8 on this map is enormous. Anybody who's played states knows uh, just how big it is. And um, when this field is completely planted and fertilized, you pretty much can run um, all the way across and back down and that'll fill up the uh, container which it holds uh, 20,000 liters in it uh, to, to be a full full cage on it there we go coming back up but yeah a full cage is gonna be 20,000 liters and uh, so basically what I'm doing is I'm running uh, Two complete passes here uh, to uh, to fill her up. It's not getting completely full, but two passes on this short field will uh, uh, will get me to a com to a fill level where I can go dump it, and then I can do two loads into the agriliner, and that'll be a complete load for the agriliner. So it works out pretty good. I do like the model. Like I said, it's uh, it's not a bad little deal. Mirrors work on it. Yeah, you go to a 2D texture there. And the rest of the modeling on the inside, not particularly bad either. But it's 2D on the, on the post gauges. All right, let's make a turn here. And like most modded combines, the brakes on it are horrible. There we go. Go ahead and lock in, drop the header, and we'll start cutting back down the field. So we'll run this pass down, and once we get to the other end of the field, we'll go ahead and dump her out. But again, and a little look at the controls here for it. Some of the signs on it. Not bad. And if we go all the way back to the back, you see there is a little bit of a window in, into the cage. Radio's crooked. I could just, uh, you know, that's one of those nitpicky things. I mean, but overall, for a, you know, for a modded combine, not too terrible. I think where it shines is the cage. The back, the back part of it, you know, the, the cage catching all the cotton fibers as they're blown in. You should have a little more uh, animation out the back of the cut, uh, you know, the, I wouldn't call it chaff, but the waste product coming out the back. You should have a little more animation on that. I will say that. All right. So let's pull her around here uh, to our trailer, field side container. And what we do is we hit zero and it's going to actually tilt up and dump her out and again you got a nice white animation texture going in filling up the trailer with that white cotton uh, it's a little funny to me how it tips out where instead of gradiating down towards the left hand side of the cage uh, it's going back out the exact same way it filled up 
and I guess I don't guess there's really any way to model that tip so you got to let that slide I mean again you're working within the confines of a farm sim so I really don't know but the very nice animation on the cage I think they did a really good job with that part of it so or hopper I don't want to necessarily I guess cage is not the right word but hopper um, it's a pretty nice little animation I think it's a, a pretty nice little mod so if you've got a map that has cotton on it and you've struggled to find a decent cotton combine, it's a not a bad little model. The 9965, this is version 2. Now this field's got some issues with it. This is not the, the combine. This is the second time this field's been planted in cotton. And there have been some issues where certain rows just don't harvest. Or maybe I don't have the head all the way down. Let's try this again. Because now that I'm looking at it, the cutting head's not down on the... Not all the way down. Maybe that's the issue. But we did harvest this once before and had a lot of, like, skippage on the field. And I... Maybe that was people doing what I just did and making mistakes where they didn't get the head down. It's highly possible that that's what it was. I don't know. You know, when we planted it the first time and went to harvest, when it came time for harvest, I was really excited to do it because we'd never done cotton. I was looking forward to doing it as part of a live stream. And uh, we got started on it. And Hemi and I got about, I don't know, an eighth of the way through this field. And my internet went down. And I wasn't able to continue the harvest. Which I was really bummed out about that because I was really looking forward to it because it was something new that, like I said, something that we hadn't done. Different piece of machinery that we hadn't messed around with. And uh, and then my internet went out and it was, it was sort of upsetting. I think we were only like an hour into the stream or something like that. So, but uh, afterwards some of the other guys had got on and harvested the field. Uh, but people were coming back and telling me that it was like really splotchy and uh, They weren't able to get the entire field done. So I'm not sure what was causing that but uh, Maybe they didn't have the header all the way down. Not sure Not sure. I can't say cuz it wasn't there. You know what I mean? All right Let's go ahead and rotate back around Get our head back down, and we'll go ahead and cut some more. Now that's weird. I, I did not adjust a thing, and I missed a line. That's crazy. Not really sure why that does that. And again, my GPS line didn't move, and I've cut several cuts with my GPS uh, set up the way it was So why it would shift like that I have no idea All right Now we adjusted over just a hair and we go and I don't know if that's the mod that does that uh, or Some hinky going on with the way the uh, the cotton is planted in the field, you know Take this map, my first experience doing cotton. And as I've told you guys before, cotton has a has a big background in my family, so I uh, I would love to incorporate a real cotton operation into farm sale with a harvester, a packer, a transporter. You know, and then like a gin add-on where you take the cotton to the gin where you can get after the cotton's been ginned You have your cotton that you sell or that is bought from you, but then you also can get your seed back Would be cool as well That would be a neat neat little process um, But that would take some people With brains much smarter than mine when it comes to modding to come up with that one Oh, 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 oh. 
Ooh, I didn't want to hit that trailer. Come close to it, didn't we? Let's drop that head down. Let's get back on our GPS. And we'll get to rolling on up the thing. Get to rolling up on the thingamajigger. So yeah, again, 4.6 looks like it's a good cut. Why, when we made the turn, we didn't line up correctly on it and get uh, everything right is beyond me. Because if it's just not, if it's too wide, it would show up when we made the turn up here at the, at the north end of the field. When we make the turn and come back down, we should skip a row if it's, if it's not right. Even if it were just a hair too wide, we would show some clippage. So that doesn't make any sense, especially since the right side of this has a tendency to cut fat anyways. Alright, into field. Raise our head. I'm going to swing out to the right a little bit and make a hourglass turn or a pear turn, however you want to look at it. Oh, 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 swing around. There we go. All right, as it starts to come down the hill, it wants to accelerate really hard. All right. Yeah, so see, this time it's going to cut nice and fat on the right hand side. And we get a nice clean cut. So I'm not sure why it shifted on us back there. But we're 68% full, so when we get down to the end of this, we'll dump our load into the trailer and then we'll go dump that off. And we'll proceed with uh, cutting a bit more. Actually, I think I'll dump to the trailer and then I'll cut a little bit more. Then go dump the trailer. So I want to thank everybody for coming out for last night's live stream. We had a good time. We played here on the uh, dedicated server and uh, we harvested some potatoes uh, that were over in field number two, uh, which was kind of fun. Uh, we used the old two meter rig and uh, which uh, is a, a bit of a challenge always. It takes a little bit more time than using the, the four meter. Yeah, it was a pretty good time. And thanks to the guys who came on the server, helped us out. Jared, Chris D, uh, our buddy Rob came over, helped us out a little bit. And uh, Lithium, uh, I mean Litmus came on for a little bit. Um, some guys are still having some issues with lag and rubber banding. Kimmy came on, so I I think this server just not is, is just not going to be our solution. Uh, as much as I've complained with the uh, the company that owns the server, uh, it just doesn't seem like uh, doesn't seem like they're going to get anything resolved on this, which is a shame. Uh, which I've had several conversations with them, um, even to the point of pointing out that they have other that friends of mine have servers on the same. Uh, on the same server group and uh, they don't have issues like I'm having um, so they can't blame it on mods because one of the particular examples that I pointed out to them has far far more mods on on their server than mine and in addition their server um, has leaps and bounds more mods that have errors than I do on this server because uh, I, as you guys know I I really cut down some of the mods that I use this time uh, so as to 
lessen the number of errors on the server so I could try to get the performance up when we put states version 11 in. Uh, so I only have like four mods with errors in them uh, or five mods with errors in them that are actually running on the server. And the mod, the, the errors are, are ridiculously stupid little mod errors. Like, uh, you know, um, the way that something is named versus, you know, it has a, uh, an extra spa a space in it or something like that, you know, where, where it shouldn't. Um, or the DDS file is a little bit larger than it should be. So, um... I really don't see those as issues that would break a server. And also, one of the examples that I showed them uh, had many of the same mods on there that I was using. So, I really don't know how uh, how they can sit and blame it on. Now, look, it's not going to cut right. It's cutting. It's missing. Cutting up through here. I'm going to have to readjust when we get up to the top. It's like it does it after we dump everything out. It's interesting. But yeah, I'm going to have to scoot that line over just a little bit uh, to get this thing to work right. I wonder if I scale her down to 4.5 meters, if that would help. I forget what Kimmy and I cut at when we cut uh, together. We had to adjust the widths a little bit. I don't want to cut down. I don't want to bring it down too much or I'm not, you know, getting a full cut each time I go down through here. So I might just let a little bit of waste go. a little clip for a screenshot there so yeah there's gonna be a little bit of waste here off the left hand side but I'm willing to let it go you can't sit and keep constantly adjusting but I don't quite understand why it's doing that that doesn't make any sense to me but once again we're cutting fat off of the right hand side it may be the way the field's laid out. It may be the spacing between the plants and that I'm cutting it crosswise uh, across the grain. That could be, could be the issue. I don't know. It's late at night. If I had somebody chasing me, I'd change up. I'd run the length of the field and let them come chase me, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to do a little bit, help everybody out, get part of it uh, cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, doing it again. You make no sense sometimes. So we definitely are going to have to adjust when we get to the other end. Or it's going to miss this entire row. But I guess maybe I have to scale it down to 4.5 meters. Maybe 4, four 6 is too much. For the way I'm doing things. Seems like maybe we did run into this problem when uh, when we did this originally. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Then again, uh, we didn't do that much of it, so I didn't get the full experience.
So let's do this. Let's adjust it slightly. I'll pull it down to 4.5. And I'll reposition again. Oops, I gotta be all the way over here on it so I can position. There we go. And we'll go ahead and cut. Maybe that works a little bit better. Does get the plants a little bit more lined up with the uh, with the cutting head. So that's not too bad. All right, getting kind of late here on the farm. Which, uh, we're well after what I normally would work. But, I did want to get a little bit of harvest time in before the sun went down. And before fast tracking into the next day. So again, the server will be up. Uh, this particular server will be active for about 20 more days. Uh, and then, uh, once we reach the end of the month, it will be gone. Uh, once Farm Sim 17 comes out, this server is gone. Um, by the time we get to that point, it will have, uh, my contract with them will, will have expired. Uh, and then we will have new servers for FS uh, 17. So, whew. Lining up this for a for a dump is a little bit different. I don't know if I got it close enough or not. Let's look. Oh, I'm way too far out. Way too far. You got to be almost right up against it uh, in order to uh, to dump into it. So let's uh, let's back her up a little bit. Yeah, I tried to do that off first person and failed miserably. That's about right, right there. So let's go ahead and flip over to it, dump it out, and then we'll make our way over to the sell point and we'll sell some cotton. I really don't like the idea of putting this into the silo and storing it, uh, though I know the guys who have been cutting have been storing it uh, on the server because we got like a million and a half liters of cotton, but I'm not really a big fan on storing it because the only storing, you, again, it, it's a realism thing, you know. The only storing that we have on the map is uh, to store over at the uh, the grain silos uh, on the map. And cotton wouldn't go into a grain silo. So I don't, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't store it that way in real life. So I wouldn't want to store it that way uh, in the game. As I do like to approach it with a more, little bit more realism. So, my game plan is to uh, take it over to the warehouse here and uh, sell it off at the warehouse. Even though there is a silo there, uh, you know, that's where I'm selling it at. I, it's not where I'm trying to store it, so... However they want to treat their cotton, that's that's up to them. But me, I know you'd store it differently, so. And on our farm, the only way we got to store grain is in a, is in a silo. Or the only way we have to store crops is in a silo or, uh, you know, root vegetables. You have a way to store them, but... So we'll bring it over here and let's just pretend that uh, we're dropping it off at this warehouse and they've got a uh, this is their hopper that you drop you know like a drop chute now we're drop shotting it in and it's going into an underground factory to be ginned or whatever <laughs> we we can use our imaginations 
And that's not really a grain silo, that's where they store the ginned seed. Or bleaching agents or something like that. How about that? All right. Back to the field we go, and we'll just rinse and repeat. So yeah, we had a good time last night. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I just, uh, like I said, I wish we hadn't gotten such a raw deal on this server. Um, it started out really well when we were on Graceland, and performed really well when we were on Graceland. Uh, but since it's just gone downhill and uh, I just it's got to be something with their server that's causing the issues um, on their end either they've got me on a box that's too crowded or the particular host location that I have it at is just overburdened but like last night Last night, I didn't have any real lag. You know how we get the... A lot of times, I get the tractor lag where the tractor lopes a lot during the during the stream. Didn't get any of that. And, uh, and it ran real smooth for me. But everybody else had issues. Um, you know, Hemi's was so bad, he, he opted just not even to play last night. He got on the server, hang out for about two minutes, three minutes and said I give up I'm out of here and uh, I hate that because my purpose for getting the server was so everybody had a really good place to play and to have fun and um, the fact that it hasn't worked out like that is uh, is disappointing for me uh, because I really did want to build a, a fun little community playing on here some of you guys still get on I know that and uh, y'all play whenever the server behaves it seems like it does pretty good during the day it's just at night when it seems like it's really bad, which, again, leads me to the... Is there some sort of data dump that's going on in the evenings when we're trying to live stream? Uh, and that's causing the issues, so... Alright, we'll pull back over here. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the head. Go ahead and drop that head, cutting head down. Get back on it. Oops. Uh, again, forgetting that the uh, camera controls are reversed. There we go. And we'll get to cutting a little bit. But yeah, at this point, my 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 goal is to get through the next 21 days uh, depending on when you're watching this but about 21 days three weeks from now uh, my goal is to have a farm sim server up and running uh, probably through very games and we'll have that running up on day one uh, I will probably be out of Quebec and um, we'll have her up and running ready to roll and uh, as soon as everybody gets on Farm Sim 17, I'll give you the information. And you'll all be invited to jump over and start playing with us. It'll be generic for a while. Um, even if mods come out right off the bat, I will probably leave the server generic. And uh, just play through the game. And play with the mods that we are with the uh, new equipment that comes out with the game. And, uh, and see how that goes for a while. And then as mods start to come out, we'll explore some different mods and see what's good, what's the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, this is uh, that late night field harvest. This would be when we'd be rocking some tunes out. Rocking it through the night, right? But anyways, 
Uh, I think that's going to be about it for today. I'll put up the video from um, from last night's live stream. Uh, I'll put the archive up for that if you guys want to watch some potato harvest uh, and catch that. Appreciate it. And enjoy it. Um, also, if you want information on how to get on the server, make sure you check the show notes. It's listed in every video that we do. There is a tab or a link that says uh, server and mod info. All you got to do is click on that. And the very first page you go to uh, will tell you all about the server. It will give you the, the uh, a link to download the mods. And then it will give you the information that's needed uh, within FarmSim on how to get onto the server, the name, the password, all that. Um, and that's about it. Um, there's also, don't be confused, there are additional tabs on that particular spreadsheet that are for other mods that I list on there, like what I have on my complete uh, mod hard drive. Um, for anybody who wants to see what mods I've downloaded uh, while we were playing Farm Sim 15. Um, and then there's tabs for other games, for mods that I play with other games on there as well. But the first page is what you want to be uh, paying attention to if you want to get on the server. So. Uh, you're invited to get on. It's up 24 hours a day. If it's not up, drop me a note in Discord. Sometimes uh, it messes up on the restart and uh, needs to be reset, and I'll take care of that for you. But otherwise, it should be up and running. Just all I ask is uh, when you get done with whatever task you do, even if you don't complete it. Like, I'm not going to complete this cotton field tonight. But when I do finish up what I'm doing, I'm going to put all the equipment that I use right back where I got it from. And then the next person behind me can come back and get it. Uh, and they can use it, um, you know, as well. So, uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you smash that like button. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I hope you consider giving it a like, maybe even sharing it with your friends. It does help me out a tremendous amount and is greatly appreciated. Also, leave some comments down below. That's really the only way I can gauge if you guys are enjoying what's being put out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want daily notifications. I try to do a new video each and every day. Also, if you want to stay in touch with me and find out what's going on, our social links are down in the bottom left-hand corner. Twitter is where I usually announce schedule changes, live streams, and new video releases. Facebook's a great way to get in touch with me if you have any questions to ask. And, of course, I am trying to get to 1,000 followers on Google+, Plus, which I know I'll probably be old and gray before that happens. But if you can jump over there and follow me, it would be super awesome. So if you like today's video, there's a whole lot more content on the channel. I hope you'll browse through it. Find something to keep yourself entertained until the next video or live stream. Speaking of live streams... I try to do them nightly around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until the next time, thanks again for watching. See you soon.